I know that we are always looking for ways that we can save time, um, especially with planning and especially with planning uh, digitally. So I just wanted to share one um, tip or trick that I have been using that I have found has really helped me be more efficient when planning using Canvas. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to always stay a week ahead. And when I say that, what I've done is I have created a module for every day and I've created a blank template that has a landing page, a morning check-in, morning work, reading, math, writing, and word study. So I have just done a blank skeleton. So I have the landing page and then our morning check-in. It's just blank so that it's ready for me to insert um, whatever activity or lesson that we're going to be using for that day. So it has the banner already ready, the teaching point ready to go and the home page that will link back or the home button that will link back to the landing page. So what I do every week is then on Friday, I will just go through and I'll create next week's blank template. So to do that in modules, Give it a moment to load. So in modules, what I'll do is I am going to, so if you can see, I've already created the Monday and Tuesday for next week. And then I know that we will be out of school Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I'm just doing it for the week after. So I'm going to go over to the three dots on the right-hand side. And I am just going to duplicate this entire module. And what that does is it duplicates every page, every assignment, anything that you have in it. Then I simply just need to edit it. And since I am duplicating this for the Friday after Thanksgiving break, I am simply going to edit each page, take off the copy and change the date. I have found that it is really helpful to, when naming my pages and naming my assignments, it's been really helpful to start each day with the date. And the reason that's been really helpful is because then when I go to link everything, it clusters all of those pages together. So it just makes it a little bit easier to find and a little bit quicker to, to link. So let me just finish really quickly with writing and word study. And then I can show you how it clumps everything together. So now that I've changed the name, I can simply go into Friday's landing page. And now I wanna link all of my buttons to those pages. So I'll simply go into edit. And then I will go to pages. And then I can just scroll down until I get to December 4th. And then as you can see, I have all of December 4ths all clustered together. So I can simply click on the morning check-in, the morning work, the math, the writing, the reading, and the word study. Whoops, I did that for reading and word study. So then I have all of my pages linked to the buttons. And so now they're ready for me to go next week to import any of 
any content that I want. So then each day when I'm planning, I can simply go back into that day's module. And for example, I can add in any of the assignments or discussions or quizzes um, to that blank skeleton. I hope this was a helpful tip to help make your planning using Canvas a little bit more efficient.